All right, what's up, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another episode of Kind of Cool Dudes. I'm Dalton. And I'm Tyler. And you're joining us for our second installment of Bloodborne, where I am being really, really, really hesitant to go any deeper into this forest because I hate this forest. But. It looks like a friendly forest. <sighs> it's just there are so many enemies, and it's really, really easy. Okay. To miss. To just get overwhelmed and have no idea where it all comes from. I feel like that's everywhere in Bloodborne now, to be totally honest. And that's in my experience. Okay, so for those of you who weren't with us last episode, the reason why we're jumping into this uh, game so far into it and not start from the beginning is because we're trying to get it to the point where it's ready uh, for the DLC right out the gate. So go up to the point of almost beating it, but not beat it. Yes. Because so far the creators haven't said anything about like being able to pass that point on accident. So... I think it looks like the witch from Left 4 Dead. That's <laughs> stupid. Just shoot oh, everything to that. Oh wow, I didn't even kill it. Nope, no it didn't. About half. Should two hit KO it. Nope. Okay, I'm getting jammed. You gotta do it early. I don't know. Got jammed. Yeah, just whack at it for the rest. Stamina for days! What you got? Ah, oh, that's all good. Yes. Not up in here. Ah. <sighs> Cursed temple. You know, one of the only gripes I have about this is that in the new game plus, the enemies don't drop like higher grade gemstones or oh, really? stones or yeah, they always drop the same level of stuff wherever you are. So what's the point? <laughs> well, that's the thing that really isn't one. So you just kinda have your inventory full of all these bad super useless gems. <laughs> you can't you can't craft with them or anything? No. That's lame. This game sucks. Zero out of ten. With the one comment that we have no one viewer about how wrong we are for that. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. And see, that's what I'm talking about. All of these guys have guns in this forest. <laughs> you have All a gun? What is this, Call of Duty? Uh -huh. Oh, Tyler. Call of Duty, 1 out of 10. This is hey, Tyler's star argue. rating there. <laughs> But it got, it got see if arcane arcane is any more than, uh, Do you have any arcane? Yeah. Oh. So my, uh, uh, I don't notice any distinguishable difference. But yeah, like, fire like scene. I keep your stun lock pretty okay. So, oh god. Or not. Hurry, hit him. Really? Heal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite impressive how yeah, low you can get him. <laughs> Throw a Pokeball at him and catch him. That low health. I think the best course of action here is just to run in. <laughs> Hit the tree. I'm gonna do it. Alright. Oh, you can two shot these guys. These guys are easy. Turn invisible and just go all uh, nightcrawler on them. God, I love this weapon. Is oh, it the, sorry, is the item? item? Yeah. yeah. Can you do it infinitely or does it use up stamina or anything? It uses up bullets. Oh. To... oh God. Well, Dang. don't stand in front. Uh, that is super frustrating. <laughs> uses bullets. It uses bullets every time you do it. It only lasts for a certain amount of time. It's not like you're a blood tinge build, though. You don't need that many bullets. Right. That's the whole idea. The only thing I've used are bullets for is counter right? Yeah. I have seen blood tinge builds online where someone like just solos game with just a cannon. And one shot, all the bosses. All the bosses? Yeah. It's does it doesn't it scale up though? Doesn't it have like a uh, at some point doesn't increase your damage like hardly at all? See, I don't know because I haven't hit that cap for my weapons yet, so I don't yeah. know if that's the same way with the. Uh... All right, so being shot directly in the face definitely does more damage than being shot from far. 
That doesn't make a little bit of sense. Um, but I think I've killed everything that's like a real threat here, so I can yeah, so you just freeze my way through. Which are like the final words of yeah, famous <laughs> last words. Any Bloodborne game, any so dark Soul game, game. Souls games. Nice thing is uh, regaining that health every time you attack back. Yeah, I like how this. I like how fast the combat is. In that game. Yeah. You have to think on your feet, so to speak. And I liked how Dark Souls 2 definitely gave you the option to go totally shieldless when you play and made it like or totally a, shielded. Yeah. Double and shields. but it made it like a, a actual what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, tangible build. I don't think tangible is the right word, but you, you guys get the idea of what I'm saying. Um, but then in Bloodborne, they're like, ha! Anyone who used a shield is <laughs> fucked. Or very impressive. Like, you can beat this game using a shield, like, dang. Well, there is one shield in the game. Yeah, no, I know. There's one shield, and it's terrible. But if you can beat the game using that, that that's that's impressive. Oh, but I have seen pictures in the DLC that there's, like, an actual metal shield. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, like, I think it'll be an object from Kinghurst tonight. Oh, it's, like, a, it's an item? I think it's going to be, like, a sword and shield combo. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. I'm surprised they didn't make it work like that earlier. Really. Well, what I'm really excited for is the bow blade. Oh yeah, that thing looks cool. So the bigger Tarnatrus is like an actual weapon. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this uses bolt. Does this use bolts? Yep. Oh, okay. Do all items use bolts? Anything that's arcane uses bolts. Interesting. Ooh, wow, I'm doing so much better than the first episode. Oh, uh, well, you ruined it. <laughs> yeah, this guy's gonna kill you now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's, he's gonna kill you. Just wait, wait for it. Stop attacking him and I'll kill you. <laughs> Give him a chance to kill you! Can't stop me now, what? Can't stop me don't stop because I'm having a good. I, I don't know how copyright laws work that well on YouTube yet, so we're gonna cut it off there. Well, that, that sounds fairly old. Yeah, uh. So, really, this that we want to take with our brand new channel. I mean, what are we gonna do? The our episode? first lamp! Woo! First lamp on the episode? <laughs> Hopefully, oh. not your first lamp ever. First lamp since we started our playthrough. Yes. Yes. It'd be impressive if you got all the way here and this is your first land. And I'm gonna really need to stop. I wish I could do something with 60,000 souls. It'd be cool if you could uh, restock at the lamp without going back. Like, you only go back to level up. Now, see, I kind of like that you have to come back here to restock. See, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like taking a break or reprieve from. Oh, well, yeah. They could have like the level up area here and like the shops. But So then how would you stop? Well like your inventory, the your other inventory that's here? Oh, like the the box. Yeah, yeah, the box. Okay, so. I have a lot of bolts. You don't have enough blood piles? I mean I have enough blood piles, but Welcome home. you always have enough until you don't. <laughs> Yeah, let's we'll see. Yeah, you need about a hundred thousand. Yeah, maybe I should. I'll save up to my blood. Yeah, I'll save up to my cold blood. I don't think I have anything that I can use to upgrade them, so I'll hold off on that for now. Let's get two things. Take quite a few of those to learn. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> these do less. Alright, moving on. New area. Back to the Hemlock Charnel Lane. <laughs> they make blood sound like it's a drug. Well, it is. But it's not. It's no, blood. in this literally game. literally blood. In this game, it is a drug. They use it to treat things, they use it to cure people, well, yeah, get but strength. They, they're acting like it's a... Uh... And they call it blood treatment. 
Yeah, because yeah. you're it's literally just like a blood transfusion. Uh -huh. But they're treating it like it's like cocaine or something. Well, I mean, yeah, people are definitely addicted to it. Yeah. All right. You crazy. Be careful with the mouth. I know. I don't know if they'll attack you or not. Oh, there you go. They're both. Jesus, man. calm down! I don't understand how these people are so strong. Like, it's not like they practice combat or anything. Well, and it's not like they have good combat skills. It's just that they swing wild. Yes. Yeah, and they're all infused with blood too. So. Yeah. That was not what I meant to do. Alright, so we'll start uh, killing even more old ladies on the next episode of Kinda Cool Dudes. In the meantime, thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Bye!